Burger. Analyzing. Nerd. A little bit absurd. Burger analyzing nerd. There is just something I absolutely need to talk about. Something that makes me so angry, it just can't wait until that Hot Pocket's done cooking. How angry am I? That angry. I'm angry that nerdy is cool. Allow me to clarify. There is no way that the nerdy green arrow can be cool, but the CW's Green Arrow is the bomb! Media providers are taking geeky things and ripping the nerd out of them. It's not cool. The public at large seems to love the results, but hate the source material. All right, take Dungeons and Dragons, for example. Allow me to role play. You're in a wintry forest. <coughs> you see four or five creatures in the distance. You're not sure what they are, but the legends say there are these mystical creatures that bring forth prosperity and destruction. You believe these are those creatures. What do you do? Ladies and gentlemen, I just described the beginning of Game of Thrones as a Dungeons and Dragons dungeon master. People would beat the turkey stuffing out of somebody who played Dungeons and Dragons, and yet they will tune in 15 minutes early to watch Game of Thrones. Why? Look at superhero movies. Do you really think that this deserves the popularity and notoriety over this? Is the reason for superhero movies popularity over the source material because it's not animated? Man, I want to beat some sense into people like a professional wrestler. I'm going to teach you to respect animation, comic books, and other nerdy source material. <laughs> Now, I know I'm treading on thin ice here because lots of fans love the original source material, but the majority of people mindlessly flock to trendy things like flies to a Jeremy Renner fly trap. These bandwagon trend followers played Pokemon Go and went, It's been years since Nintendo made a good Pokemon game. Really? Really? Oh man, my fantasy football team is doing so awesome right now. Hey man. Would you like to play a role-playing fantasy game with me? No, nah, man. Can't you see? I'm watching the game. Oh. Okay. Oh, yes! The quarterback just made a saving throw to overturn the enemy and added seven points to my receiving modifier. It just dumbfounds me that society openly embraces these popularizations of nerdy things, but whenever they get to the source material, someone gives it to them and they're like... <laughs> now... I sincerely hope you don't watch this video and feel like it's an insult to you or anyone. And if you do, I'm so sorry. I don't mean for it to be. It's just, as a nerd, I've felt like things that I love and sometimes even myself has been rejected by society. And I don't see the need to. So I wanted to draw attention to what's happening. Now, let me pull an Andy Stanley here. If there's one thing that you're going to take out of today's message, I need you to look up here. If you want to like popular nerdy things because they're popular and not because they're nerdy, that's fine. But if you find a popular nerdy thing and like it, consider consuming the source material. You know, it might just be something magical and maybe even become something that you love. And I consider you to take an opportunity. And look at it. Thank you, and God bless.